This example asks us to ask the customer how many sweets they want to buy. So sweets is equal to n because that's going to be a whole number. And then input to ask a question. And then how many sweets do you want? Okay. Next it says ask the shop owner how much each sweet costs. Okay. So cost equals this time it's going to be float because it could be pounds and pence and it's a decimal number. So input to ask the question and how much does each suite cost? Then it says add 20% to the total amount that needs to be paid and then store it in a variable called final total. So we create a variable called final total and then we need to find how much, what the total is first. So sweets times cost. This gives us the total. And then we need to multiply this. So by 1.2. Now when we multiply by 1.2, this finds 120% um, 120, 120 of this. So 120% of this, it means it just adds 20% on top of the total. If I only wanted to get 20%, I would do 0 times 0 0.2. But this will give us only 20% of this. But we want 120% because we're adding 20% on top of the actual value. So multiplying it by 1.2 will give us the actual total, which is this, sweets times cost, multiplied by the 20%, so with 20% extra. Then it says display the total amount after the tax in a full sentence. So print total amount and then final total. So the print will display it on the screen and then we use the comment concatenate to join the variable final total with the string. Okay. Now when I run it, it says how many suites do you want? Let's say six. How much each one cost? 0 0.3. And it says the total amount is 2.15.